before. And uh, I thought it was a stupid part. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I did the Italian part good, and they kind of liked it. They started looking at me differently. And from that point on, they just had me read Dave all the time. So they ended up casting me as that, and I didn't know that it was the lead in the movie. I thought it was an ensemble piece. And I begged my agent to get out of it because I said, this guy shaves his legs. <laughs> <laughs> and he's quoting Italian in front of these temp, you know, other cutters and they're gonna beat him up if he's too weird, you know? Like, but it turned out to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the movie was named Bambino. There were scenes when he was, he was training on a folding bike mm -hmm. and uh, getting in vans with a folding bike and smoking pot with hippies and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, thank God we got rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, this would lead to the next question. I think it's, you know, you, you can tell on the bike, on bike scenes, that you knew what you were doing. I mean, this isn't, sometimes you see these movies and think, I mean, you know, Kevin Costner and the Flyers are like, does he really know what he's doing? But you really looked like you knew what you were doing out there on the bike. You know, who was your trainer? How did you get prepared for the role? Yeah, well, um, I was on this other movie and I couldn't get off it. It kept hmm. going over time and over time and over time. So I missed the two weeks of rehearsal and the first three weeks of shooting at Breaking Way. So I didn't get any training. Uh, they would deliver things to the set of the movie I was working on. Uh, bikes and trainers and stuff and I couldn't do anything because I'm in all these scenes in the other movie. Anyway, uh, I finally get down there, and uh, they had, they introduced me to sort of the, arguably the greatest cyclist of that time was a guy by the name of Gary Rybar, and he was from Bloomington, Indiana. And uh, he was our great hope in the Olympics, which the year that he was gonna go was canceled because of, uh, because of what was happening in Poland, and Carter wouldn't let us attend the Olympics, rightly so. So his dreams were sort of shattered. But he came on board as the technical advisor of the movie, and then they thought they would make him my double. And so they made his hair blonde, and we had to spend all of our free time together and talking about bikes and him trying to make me into a champion bike racer in like four days. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, start, I just finally thought, this is, I, not only can't I do it, but it's totally disrespectful to the sport. You can't learn this in four days. Yeah, nor could he learn to have the lead in a movie in four days. So I just had him do all the scenes of cycling in the movie that the character had to do, and took pictures of him, watched him closely, tried to mimic him, and I studied how he, the way he would breathe, the way he would grimace, uh, the way he would move, the way he would move your legs, and move your body, and your head down when you're gaining speed. Just, all the technique that I could possibly imitate because that's what an actor does. You don't actually have to make yourself into anything to play anything if you're dedicated to recreating the sensation. And that's what we did and they were really surprised that they were able to use, I think they said like 87% of the footage they were able to keep me, it was me doing it. And there were stunts that I did in the movie that they couldn't do that because I was ignorant and didn't know you couldn't do them, I did them. <laughs> um, so it worked out really kind of well. It, there were many things about this movie that were like kismet. And aside from the script working, the stuff they took out of the script was necessary. The casting was so unique and original. I mean, to cast Jackie O'Hanley as the bodybuilder was just perfect, you know, the guy that lifts weights and stuff. It was just perfect, and Dennis, the, the sort of seemingly most together person of the group, is full of depression and doubt, you know, it was just, the script was a really, really good script, and the people that he got to play those roles, it was the perfect time in our lives to do it, and that doesn't come together in a lot of projects, let alone movies all the time. Now they just throw a lot of money and special effects at it. And hope that you won't notice that <laughs> humanity in the movie. Um,